so out they come into the stadium that bears the name of the great Johan Cruyff and into a brilliant atmosphere. It's a night where Tottenham need to summon up old form and old belief, but after last night at Anfield, we all know that anything in the Champions League is possible. Before kickoff, we're in the centre of Amsterdam. Uh, we found this bar and it was rammed full of Spurs, and we kind of knew that that was our plot. That's where we, we, we're going to watch the game and watch Spurs either absolutely fuck it up, as we've seen so many times. So we was in the ground, a good couple of hours before kickoff, and at the other end, you can hear all the fireworks going off as they're waiting for, for their coach. You, you could feel the occasion of, of how big it was. I felt fairly confident. I felt as long as we, uh, from the first leg, as long as we didn't concede too many goals, that we would do enough in the, in the second leg. So I always felt that we had a chance and I, I was quite calm about it. I didn't think in myself we would win, but I was quite calm about the occasion knowing that we were still very much in it. The minute it kicks off, the, the kind of atmosphere dipped because the reality of what we were about to witness, we're watching Tottenham Hotspur in the semi-final of the Champions League against a team that we had every chance of beating. So the atmosphere dipped a little bit and the nerves set in. Um, and yeah, five minutes gone with one nil down. It's in towards him, and he scores! Well, it's a big night for Ajax, it's a big night for the captain, and he delivers early on to make Tottenham's task that much more difficult. The first goal, unfortunately, it kind of harks back to the, the Tottenham of old. Trippier's marking the best header of the ball Ajax have, lets him run, Vertonghen's supposed to then pick him up, he lets him run, he wins the header and of course we're 1-0 down and that feeling of dread, that sinking feeling starts to come back into your bones and you're thinking, okay. A 1-0 sort of lead, it doesn't change, it doesn't change what they had to do. Um, they still had to score two goals, so. so. When the goal went in, the Licks scored that header, it was, it was a, I, you know what, I weren't that phased by it. I was like, fucking hell, we've done it again. Like, there's been multiple times this season we've let early goals in. And I thought, you know, I, I, there was a part of me that thought it was over. Dusan Tadic. Ziyech! Oh, that's a great goal! What a hit by Hakim Ziyech! He walked onto that and smashed it straight into the back of the Tottenham Hotspur net. It's Ajax 2, Tottenham 0, and you can't hit them sweeter than that. It drops to Ziyech and on his left foot it just absolutely pings one into the side netting and as it hits that net I feel a dagger hit my heart. So the second goal goes in and at that point you're thinking it's pretty much done and dusted. Like I can't remember the time Spurs came back from 2-0 down let alone 2-0 down in a game of that magnitude. We could see it from the moment he hit it it was, it was flying in. It was a great goal. We, I can't believe there was any Spurs fan in the ground at that point thought we would go through. So it was kind of like we were all in a position where, like, well, we had a great, a great, you know, season. We had a great run in the Champions League. Again, we're going to have to process it and think, well, there's something great about belonging to Spurs. All right, we don't deliver on the pitch, but we've got a great football club. And it was kind of going through that process once again. And I'm good at that, but I didn't want it. And and coming all this way and having such a great day to have it ripped from us in 20 minutes. It was tough to deal with, and the pub, the atmosphere in the pub reflected that. It's always the, it's always the thing about being a Spurs fan, isn't it? Like the rational brain always tells you, "No, we're not going to do it." And the kind of, you know, the, the sort of side of us that worries, even when we're three 0 up on the 89th minute, we still think we're going to lose. But on the flip side of that, the thing, sort of the driving force behind most Spurs fans I know is that sort of we're the, we're the eternal optimists. Here's Danny Rose moves away from Schürrle. And that's the end of the half. At half time, it was just a case of like people were resigned to the fact that we were, we were like facing defeat again at this stage. And it's just like admitting the fact that it was over and having to sit through the second half and just watch that unfold and be confirmed. And uh, I looked across at my brother and he looked at me and he went, let's just get back in there and get it done. Everyone was there together and everyone was kind of buying into this idea of we've done ourselves really like proud to get this far and we've had an amazing ride. And what we've got to do in the second half is just go out fighting, do our very best to kind of, yeah, reinstall some pride into 
this team and just salvage it. So I saw the, the Spurs players come out early, which I, I didn't know whether it was a good thing or a bad thing, whether like Pochettino had gone mental and just get, got them out of the changing room, or they were eager to get on with it. Now obviously, since then, we've heard the story that Danny Rose was like furious that Ajax had taken so long to come out, and apparently he's gone back down the tunnel and was like, come on you lads, get the fuck out there and play a game of football. There was definitely a change, even in the first kind of five minutes of that second half, where the players seemed like they were more interested and they were hungry for something to happen. Son looking to make some room for the shot, but Masrawi's been persistent up to now. That's a good ball, good save as well, Deli Alley. Onana with the reflexes, the angle in fairness was tight. So um, obviously the, the, we, we kicked off and we started playing well. Uh, you're like, we were, we were decent-ish in the first half. The second half, you're like, fuck, something's happened here. Laurentiis come on, changed the game. So Soko's suddenly bossing it again. And, uh, and then we had that great chance where Ali volleys and the keeper makes a decent save. And you're thinking, we needed that to go in. We absolutely needed that to go in. Then we score. Danny Rose towards Lucas Moura, on to Deli Alley. This is promising for Tottenham. Lucas Moura running through. Here he is, and there's the goal back. And that's exactly what Tottenham needed. It's Lucas Moura. It gives them hope. Ten minutes into the second half. Ajax 2, Tottenham 1. We've got a goal. We, 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 we've got pride. We, we, we're not walking away with this without a fight. I, I didn't actually think that that we could go on and win that game deep down. I was thinking, that's great. Let's use that as a narrative when we go back home that we give it a go because we've done that so many times before. For most, it felt like a consolation goal at that point. I don't think you could really think, oh, we're in it, we can do it now. Here's Kieran Trippier, they've opened them up. Here's the chance, oh, and man, a brilliant save. Still not clear, Mora. Oh, it's in, they've got another one. So it went from, Utter despair, Trippier goes down the right, puts in a lovely ball to Lorente and he misses from a yard out. Drops to Lucas Moura and showed the, the footwork of a god. I think people weren't really sure how to react to it. Number one, because of Lucas's goal, I don't think in, in real time you couldn't really even see how it happened. You looked at it, 58 minutes, 58 minutes on the clock. There's a lot of football to be played, 40 minutes probably with a bit of injury time. We needed one more and then then you're starting to believe. Hakim Ziyech takes a touch, oh, he's hit the post! You start to wonder whether it's going to be Tottenham's night. In towards Llorente, and there's the head, oh, he's in the bar! The target is off the line! Would you believe it? So when Hugo come up for the corner and he went over, you just assume it's done. All the Ajax players are fist bumping, punching, punching their fists back at the crowds. They're celebrating, they think they've done it. Goalkeepers tatting the Mickey, throwing balls back and forwards behind the goal. And I'm looking at the ref as he takes the goal kick, just waiting for the whistle to go. Takes away. Ben Davis with a tackle. Here's Son. Sissoko. Sissoko plays this high ball. It's going towards Lorente, and he's been exceptional since he's come on. And I'm thinking, just get something on it, win the ball. It, it, it kind of ricochets off him, but it's fine because it goes to Delhi. Delhi plays this little ball into the space. And I can just see Lucas, like in slow motion, accelerating into the space. And I'm like, oh! Just the deli alley! I'm thinking, please, just hit it first time, just hit it. 